Definitely a getaway for me, so yeah. I always love being. Well, what, at uni. what does that mean? What, when you say uni was a getaway, what does yeah. that mean? Getting away from what? Um, there are a lot of things going on at home at the time, yeah. um, which had always been the case for me growing up anyway. Yeah. But well, I'm adopted, yeah. so I grew up um, in a family away from my biological family, so I'm okay. full Tongan. Yeah. But um, I got adopted into a family that was Caucasian. Okay. And um, so growing up. I didn't know anything about being an Islander. <laughs> I didn't even know what that means. I was like, what, what, what yeah, do you yeah. mean Islander? What, what, what's Tonga? <laughs> I didn't yeah. know anything. I was like, Hello, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. I didn't even yeah. learn that word till I was like 12. When I was 16, um, I decided to go back to my biological family just because my mum was really unwell. I'd had a falling out with her. Um, a lot of things had gone on. Were you living in Auckland or were you no, living in Auckland? No, I grew up in Tauranga. Oh, well, lucky <laughs> or I was. Tauranga. Yeah. Tauranga, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's how you really say yeah. it. And, they basically they speak Tongan at home and like they're just so you know immersed into this island culture I had no idea where to start yeah. like um and so very quickly I was the black sheep in the family because yeah. I didn't speak the language um I had a completely different upbringing so my values were completely different to yeah. my own siblings you know yeah. and I just had to learn this island way of life that I, I don't know I didn't even know where to start it was like I moved to Africa or something <laughs> man it was just like culture shock is yeah. an understatement like yeah. you know and I'd never because I'd never really gotten a hiding before like I'd never yeah. you know and I'd never like yeah. experienced that yeah. oh yeah. but I experienced it when I got there when I was 14 I was we like, shouldn't be laughing oh, I know. yeah exactly yeah. we should have but man I just it's almost like you realize that there's no other way really to handle it like you yeah. know so I used to get hidings for like everything no yeah. not everything but I used to get hidings for not you know, responding quick enough, yeah. you know, in the language, I see things for doing, like, walking past people without saying excuse me, but you just don't do that, like in, you know, when I grew up. Yeah. Um, Have you ever stopped and just asked your biological mum and asked her why she, she, gave, she you gave you up? up? Well, not gave you up, but adopted yeah. you out to another Yeah, family. the original reason for my adoption is because my, so I was actually adopted to my biological mum's brother yeah. and his wife, and his wife is Caucasian yeah. so that was the connection so they couldn't have any more children and at the time my biological mum was adopted like was pregnant with me yeah and so obviously her brother approached her and was like you know can we have your baby <laughs> kind of thing yeah. <laughs> like, can I have your kid yeah. <laughs> it's like you've already made one like no nah, <laughs> um, like yeah <laughs> yeah exactly What's like, one? you already yeah. have five like yeah. seriously because my dad uh, apologizes a lot like oh. um he kind of, not saying that, well, I don't think, um, maybe I am that bad, I don't know, but but whenever I do something wrong or whenever I do something different to what the rest of his nine children do, he thinks that it's because of the adoption. And so he blames himself for, like, a lot, and he takes on all of this responsibility, which I really don't think he needs to. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, I've turned out okay, relatively okay, I think. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Yeah, when I see um, you around you, I'm like, yeah, she's got it like <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, I'm up at shadows getting drunk. You know, she's, she's here. She's got her life together. Not me. Yeah. But um, but no. I mean, I've seen what it what pressure can do to people. You yeah. Know? And 
it causes you to lose like rag rationality. Um, yeah, I definitely don't regret him making the decision. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's made you stronger? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what, what's yes. your relationship like with your mum now? My adopted mum. Your adopted mum, sorry, yes, your adopted uh, mum. Yeah, so we've gone through a lot. Yeah. Um, um, right now. Does she know you're yeah. finishing your degree? Yeah, she yeah. does. Um so there was a there was about five or six years where we didn't have any contact yeah. because um I ended up going back to my biological family to try yeah. again. Yeah. Try and live with them again. Um but once I did they, they were like, You're not allowed to speak to her, like you don't have anything to do with her and stuff and um a lot of my behaviour they blamed on her raising me. Yeah. So for a period of time I was like, Oh, maybe I shouldn't be in touch with her but yeah. then um, after leaving them even though the circumstances were really bad but when I did leave them and get in touch with her there was a lot of um, just acknowledgement of the past but also just forgiveness and restoring the relationship because she yeah. she's my mom you know yeah. what I mean and I couldn't they were, as I said she was my only real parent so yeah. I didn't have anyone else to compare her to really because she was the only one that had raised me she was the only one that you know, clothed me, fed me, yeah. you know, sheltered yeah. me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so coming to today, we're, everything in the past year, we acknowledge it, but we move on. And I know there, there are times where she really does feel guilty because she feels like she should have done things better and stuff. But I'm just like, man, mum, don't worry about it. Like, Adopted it's the mom. past. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If anything, like, let's just move forward, you know. Yeah. And she's really excited that I'm finishing. And um, Law school was never my original dream. Yeah. Like, not even in... As early as I can remember, it was never my original dream. Yeah. Um, it was just something that my parents had strongly encouraged me to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they saw money in it, they saw a career in yeah. it, which is great. Which is good. You know, which is all good reasons. My actual passion is languages. Like, I love... Like, I love languages, I love anything foreign. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, just not Tongan. Like. Yeah, I know. I'm, I mean, where do you get that strength from? Where does that build from? Um... It's taken a lot of tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's taken a lot of tears yeah. and a lot of, um, honestly, a lot of times just being alone. So it's quite a bit of strength that you yeah. have. Uh, See, so it comes from God, eh? it comes yeah. from the grace of God. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I wasn't, I haven't always had a relationship with God, like, yeah. like <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm, I was just as, um, as great as any other sinner. But, you know, an understanding, you know, where, that you are loved regardless it's, yeah. it's not defined by what your parents say about you yeah. or what degree you have yeah. or what career path you take understanding first and foremost yeah. that God's got you yeah. what have you learned about there. yourself about I mean because I'm looking at living away from home too so I need yeah. a bit of advice now no longer about the top out audience <laughs> it's about me okay <laughs> because for the next five minutes it's going to be about Maria Sweet. Louis okay Sweet. Um, no, well, I mean what, what have you learned about yourself just living away from home financial responsibility yeah. obviously um but I think one of the biggest things is that you have yourself to rely on, you know, yeah. like you aren't living under the covering of your yeah. parents anymore. If the rent doesn't get paid, it's on you. Yeah. Um, you know, if there is a, if there is a food in your cupboard, then it's you, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, cool. Yeah. But it also gives you an opportunity to cool. time manage better, communicate cool. better, all of all those right. other sold. skills as well. Sold, sold, so, yeah. right. Moving out. <laughs> um, so, I mean, say if God wasn't... Mm didn't work well in your life mm. how would you have dealt with the situation do you know well I did try to deal with the situation without God yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how was that just before we wrap up because um you talk quite a bit <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I, no I do um yeah. um yeah I did I tried everything yeah. I tried like be, to be brutally honest you yeah. know I um I tried the whole clubbing thing and yeah. the drinking thing yeah. and the sleeping around thing like I did all of that you yeah. know and I can stand here today and say that because I'm because I don't like that's just, you know, but focusing on definitely getting around the right people who are going to speak encouragement over yeah. you and not like encourage the bad stuff. Like, yeah. um, well, my dad's taught me the that all Yeah, can you show us? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because you'll probably be like, that is no, so, wrong. so wrong. I did not teach you that. Instead of comments about the interview, it's yeah. like criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but thank you so much. For no, thank you so much for being here. I really um, am honoured. Thank you. I'm honoured. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>